Andrew's missing. Oh no, where is he? I'm pretty certain there wasn't a body on B3 or B4 either, but any trace of him being dragged is here. Something's off. I'll forget that for now. My first priority is finding some medicine. The room in the back should have a shelf with specimens and drugs. The drugs are gone. I'll scour all the drug shelves on this floor if I have to. Security camera is broken. The inside's also been ransacked. There's nothing here. matter. You look ghastly. Hurry and take me to B6. And so I shall. But did you find any medicine? No. Nothing. You told me there would be medicine here on B5, but that turned out to be false. Hmm. Well, perhaps you doubt my words. But do not look upon me with such accusing eyes. I too am unaware as to why the medicine is missing. <laughs> Yet I can guess that you are to blame, Rachel Gardner. It has nothing to do with me. Has it ever crossed your mind that you've, you have played a part in all of these unfortunate events? I told you it has nothing to do with me! Never mind that! Hurry and take me to B6! Very well. Let us be on our way then. So you're alive. But you're so weak. Shall I finish you off, Zack? <laughs> wakey, wakey. You never change, do you, Zack? It amazes me that you can still can move so nimbly in that shape. But look at you, 
You're almost out of breath. What the hell are you doing here? Surprised? I knew all along that you were attempting to go after Rachel and leave this floor. So I hid a bit of a safety precaution under my clothes, just in case. I had no idea. No idea that you'd actually show up, though. Alright. I'll slash you good one more time! You mustn't push yourself, Zack. Look at you, such a slowpoke. <laughs> Besides all that, just give it a rest. Even I don't didn't make it out unscathed, okay? My body armor and blood transfusion packs got hit hard, resulting in this mess. You seem pretty peppy, considering, if you ask me. That's what separates you and I. Proper pre preparation in advance. And I clean up afterwards. Though... I'm just as frantic as you... you are. I thought about killing you in your sleep, but you woke up. There goes that idea. Tell me, why are you accompanying Rachel? And where is she, anyways? Are you seriously asking me that? As if I'd ever tell you where you where she is, you fuck! What would you do if I said I killed her, huh? You trash. Who do you think ha thinks been admiring her eyes? Are you s are you trying to say you killed her? Don't fuck around with me. Those eyes are unique. I've been searching my whole life for eyes like those! Yet alive, yet dead, and so tranquil and beautiful. You think I'm gonna let s someone like you have her eyes? They're all mine. MINE! I've been admiring them for so long! Who gives a flying fuck? I couldn't care less about her eyes. But she wants me to kill her, and, s and I'll be the one to do it. So whatever happens to Ray isn't yours to decide. Fine. Have it your way, then. I know she's alive. You being here on this floor is proof of that. Oh! Ah, yes! Allow me to make a proposal, my battered friend. Eh. Uh. To tell the truth, I have a lot of medicine on my person. Want me to use it to save you? That is, if you scoop out Rachel's eyes and give them to me. Uh. Uh. I just told you that I've got no fucking interest in Ray, uh, Ray's eyes. Count me out. Without her eyes, her laugh and smile would be empty. I thought I told you to leave me alone about her stupid eyes. I'm not giving you anything, you bastard. Oh my, what a fool. I'll take my leave then. Eh. Huh. How loose to a monster like you in my current state. You can't even walk properly by yourself, right? In that case, I should hoof it out of, out of here while I can. Besides, I gotta make preparations to protect her eyes. Uh. Hey! Shit! Wait! We have arrived at B6. Zack Floor corresponds to his mystique. Tis uncomplicated in design. Now make haste. Mm. Gotta get, get in and hurry back. So it's inside the place Zach and I first met. Inside here. Uh, this room. 
This place is a pigsty. It feels like someone was here. Could this be where Zach was staying? I know I'm in a hurry, but I'm a bit curious about all of this. Maybe Zach wrote this. Oh, that's right. Zach can't read. How unsafe. But there are signs of someone drinking from it. Drinking from a broken cup. I guess the soda popped in compliment the cereal well, huh? Does he like the soda or something? The contents are mushy. this the whole time. It's a shoddy, hard springed sofa. Blankets are thin. Must not provide much warmth. Uh. A bandage. Good. There's no burn medicine. Right after, do a final, final check. Mm. Is this what Zach was talking about? It's awfully dirty, and not to mention a little rusty. It seems like it wasn't maintained very well. That's odd. The blade. It looks razor sharp. I'll bring along just in case. I think there's probably nothing left. Gotta hurry and get back. Zack. So he spent his time here like this? I had no idea. Come to think of it, I don't... I don't know anything about Zack. to head back and see Zach. Did you finish your errand on B6? Yeah, so I want to hurry and get back up to B2. Very well. Let us return then. Yes, please. What is the matter? Oh no! He's gone! Zack's gone! I'm not to produce him. I'm not able to produce him, even if you continue to stare at me like that. Are you being truthful? Indeed I am. Just as I suspected, the only one was the one behind this cause of misfortune. Twas none other than thee, Rachel Gardner. What is with what is it with you? I told you it has nothing to do with me. Was Danny on B five? He's the only one whose whereabouts are unknown to me. Why should such an earnest and sensible man start Start acting so bizarre. It is you who is behind this, is it not? It's not my fault. Never mind that. I gotta find Zack. Wait. I have been watching thee. 
I've grown curious as to what sort of meddling hellion you are. If baneful, then justice must be swift. Though the sight of you searching for medicine for Zack did offer a grim glimmer of hope. Hmm. Alas, it seems I was mistaken. Your actions abound with selfishness and ruthlessness. And the answer you gave me are at the outset. As to why you are trying to keep Zack alive? Because you wish for him to take your life. Oh, Rachel Gardner. Of your actions are without a doubt selfish, for you love only yourself. No. Sure, I want Zack to kill me, but that's. it's not just about that. There's more to it. Zack swore an oath, oath to God that he would take my life. Rachel Gardner. You say Zack swore an oath to God, however, if he did to make that oath, how do you know if God will choose to allow it? If there were others with with the same oath, do you not think that it is God's will to determine which shall come to pass? Should the will of God differ from your own, what will you do? C forgive me. Twas rather, twas rather, heartless question. I must make preparations before I sentence you. Huh? <laughs> that sweet scent. Could it be? Well then, Rachel Gardner. Let the deliberation pro proceed. I gotta get away! about look it's right there listen to me Harry we'll take the door behind us I'm uh, talking to you step on it Harry Zack ah uh, shut up Me, oops! What the hell are you talking about, anyway? But a giant snake. You must be imagining things. Are you fucked up in the head? Don't make me pound your head again. Just when I think you're back, you don't make any sense. And you're all freaked out. And you couldn't handle yourself all alone out there. I am... I'm sorry. Are you alright, Zack? Why did you move here? I had an unwanted visitor. Dr. Danny. Yep, the one and only. How'd you know? His body was missing. That makes sense. Cocky bastard. He couldn't move, so the bastard bolted before I could finish him off. Danny say anything? Huh? Uh. Who cares? It's nothing you need to be worrying about. I see. Never mind all that. You came back alive. Huh? What's wrong? I'm sorry. Uh. All 
the medicine on B5 was gone. Come to think of it, that bastard mutters something about having medicine. Did, so he did have a hand in this. Hey, did you make it to B6 and get the stuff I told you about? Oh, oh that, yeah. That's all I need. Hey, let me see it. Is this what you wanted? Alright, now this I can wield! Is that knife yours? Uh, this was my original go-to. Go-to guy before all this. Hey, what do you say we gotta move on? No, oh, wait. You're still in no shape to move around. Man, you're pesky. I got some major Z's earlier, so I can manage. Wait. Then at least let me treat your wounds. Back off! Don't get any ideas about touching or doing anything to me. It'll take more than some cuts and bruises to take me down, so don't you worry. That won't do. What is with you? You've had a weird look on your face ever, ever since you got here. Hey, do you remember what that woman on B3 said? Huh? And I think that she, when I think that she was right, it makes me want to puke, but she wasn't wrong about one thing. No, you and I aren't playthings. Not that part. You already gave your spiel on that. So I remembered it. What then? The part about me being a monster. A monster who doesn't go down so easily. Wouldn't you say that was true? Huh? Come on now! Would you quit making that weird face? That's pretty much normal for a monster. It's always been normal for me. Hey, quit spacing out. Whatever the case, all we can do is keep going. If there's no medicine, if you're not coming, then I'll leave you behind. Wait, I'll go. Then hurry your ass up. But just so you know, I can't run right now. Okay, got it. There's a trail of blood. Is this Dr. Danny's? Look if I know. I'm pretty sure she was dripping with blood. Dripping with blood. But he was still alive. He was packing insurance under his clothes. At any rate, if Danny has medicine, then we gotta track him down. Let's follow the blood trail. <laughs>